Hi buddies, welcome back, it's Anne-Sophie and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks I have for you when you start with your Motorola Moto G14 and we get right to it. The first thing I have is the adaptive brightness and if we go to our drop down menu we have this brightness bar right here and if we go to our settings and then go to display we have the same bar here, brightness level, and we can also say adaptive brightness. So then the screen decides for itself what like brightness it needs. The second tip I have for you is how to hide your number. For that, we need to go to our phone icon here, go to the three little dots, go to settings. Now we need to go to calling accounts, go to your provider, go to additional settings, and then click on call ID and say hide my number number hidden in outgoing calls and now your number won't be shown on the device when you're calling. The second tip I have for you is the auto rotate of your screen and for that we can go to our drop down menu and the auto rotate is off right now. Let me give you a quick demonstration. So if I turn my phone sideways the screen won't shift sideways with it and if I go to my drop down menu again click on auto rotate then you see that my screen shifts sideways and it also goes back to normal, so to say, um, when I turn it that way. That's especially useful if you like watching videos or play games or stuff like that on your phone. Um, then it's just nice to like enjoy it in full screen vision. The next thing I have for you is the dark mode. And for that, we can go to the settings, go to display and then turn that on here and turn it off again. Um, we can turn it on in general or we can also schedule it. We can say turn on at a custom time, turn on from sunset to, to sunrise or turn on at bedtime. Um, and we want to turn it on at a custom time. So we say at 9 p.m. every night it turns on and at 6 a.m. in the mornings um, the light mode will appear again. The next tip I have for you is your location. Um, you can go to your settings and then go down to, not all the way down to location. And um, here we can turn that off or on. Device location for all apps is turned off. You may not be able to locate your device if it's lost. Okay, close. When you have your location on the whole time, it drains your battery a bit because uh, your phone is constantly, well, scanning your location. Um, so you can turn that off if you don't need it. Otherwise, it's pretty useful for like finding your device if it's lost or um, also like Google Maps and stuff. Then I have a tip for you that doesn't apply to this phone, but if you have a phone that supports 5G and you have a provider that supports 5G, then um, but you live in an area where you do not receive 5G, then you can go ahead and turn the 5G off. When you go to your settings and then go to network and internet and then go to mobile network and then to preferred network type, you would have 5G here listed. You would have 5G listed here. We don't have that. We have 2G, 3G, LTE. But like I said, if you have that but can't receive it, you might want to turn that off. Next thing I have for you is the screenshot and that is just pretty simple. The probably most common one is to press the volume down and the power on and off button at the same time. And then we can also go ahead and put three fingers on the screen. Then it also makes a screenshot. When we go to our photos and then choose one of our screenshots, we can crop that here, adjust it, put filters on it. So we can work with it a bit more. The next thing I have for you is the finger ID to unlock your phone a bit faster. For that, we want to go to our settings and then go down to security and privacy, go to device lock and now say fingerprint unlock. We first have to choose a pin pattern or password with it just in case it doesn't work. So we choose a pin. Now we can say what we want to display on our lock screen. And now we can say fingerprint set up. Now we need to touch the sensor that's here on the side on the power on and off button. So now we so I go ahead and set up our 
fingerprint. Fingerprint added. Fingerprint unlock improves the more you use it to unlock your phone or verify it's you in apps. All right, done. When we go ahead and lock our phone and want to unlock it again, then we just need to put our finger on it and then we're in the phone. If we go back, we can say fingerprint again. We can rename our fingerprint here or delete it by clicking on that trash can there. The next thing I have for you is app folders to organize your phone a bit. And we can go ahead, just press and hold on one app and then drag it on top of another one. And we can do that again and again until your phone says that you need to stop technically. We can edit the name here. We can say who or hi or whatever else. Um, and then we have our folder here. We can move that folder around and we can also just then press and hold to drag apps out of that folder again. And if we have only one app left, the folder disappears by itself. Last tip I have for you is to show the battery percentage on your little battery icon here. And for that, we need to go to battery and then say battery percentage. And now you can see we have 99% left. So that were my tips and tricks for your start with your Motorola Moto G14. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.